Welcome again on this web application penetration testing series. My name is Sumit Jain and today I, I'm going to discuss about how to collect uh, URLs and subdomains and filter them out for finding various vulnerabilities like accesses, server side request forgery, open redirection, local file inclusion as well. So if you want to collect subdomains, I use these scripts. These are available on GitHub, Subfinder, Asset Finder, AMAS, and Alterx. After collecting subdomains, I collect URLs and parameters with these scripts like Katana, Webex URL, and Gao. Collecting URLs and filter them out. After filtration, you can find various parameters to test for different vulnerabilities. So let's check out how to do that. Here is my terminal and I'm using a target called tesla.com. So first we have to find subdomains using asset finder. The asset finder command is asset finder specify hyphen hyphen sub only. This will find only subdomains related to the provided target. I'm giving here tesla.com and store the result into a new file using a new tesla.txt hit enter it will analyze the tesla.com and collect subdomains and store them into tesla.txt wait for a minute it takes time to analyze the target here is i'm getting result you can see various subdomains for tesla.com like secure guest marketing, VPN3, external, click emails. So this tool is quite awesome to test or collect subdomains. While this tool is running, I'm running a different tool to collect subdomains. This one is called a mass. So the command for a mass is a mass enum. Enum is for enumeration hyphen hyphen passive. Specify hyphen d flag. D is for domain you are testing for. I'm giving here tesla.com and then store the result into the same file we created earlier, like tesla.com. So a new is filter the duplicate domains collected by asset finder and a mask and store them into a single file like tesla.txt. Let's check out our result with asset finder. The process is complete. So I'm using another tool to collect subdomains called Ltrex. So we, I give here echo tesla.com for calling the target and use pipe Ltrex. Store the result into the same file we created earlier, tesla.txt. Ltrex is very fast tools which works on permutation and combinations. So you will get better results with these. Ltrex is also collect subdomains for already collect subdomains. So when we uh, collected, when we collect subdomains earlier, I will pass into Ltrex one more time to get sub subdomains. So Ltrex result is complete. Now let's wait for the a mass result. A mass is quite taking some time. You will get your results soon. While the a mass is running, I will run Ltrex one more time to collected subdomains to find uh, the subdomains for collected subdomains. So let's clear our terminal, call our file using cat. Wait, 
our AMAS is showing results. So let's wait to complete the results. So we will give these subdomains as well into L tracks. You will get better results with AMAS because AMAS is running uh, on, will analyze on certificate files as well. So my enumeration is finished and uh, the old subdomains stored here in a file called tesla.txt. So you can see here multiple domains are collected and the duplicate domains collected by the various tools is filtered out with a new. So we have our final file called tesla.txt. I'm running LTEX one more time to collect the subdomains for these already collected domains. Run a new one more time and store our file into a final file called teslafinal.txt. So let's check out what other subdomains we missed earlier. So you can clearly see how these domains are collected by LTREX. So we have now two files. One is for domain tesla.txt and one have teslafinal.txt. These two files have different different subdomains and clearly you can see tesla final file has more subdomains than tesla.txt. So let's filter them out for live domains. So I'm giving our file tesla and use a tool called sttpx, specify the flag hyphen silent and store the result into a new file So with HTTPX, you will get only live subdomains and it will filter out the dead domains and also it will check the domains for HTTP and HTTPS. So you can see the results are displayed. While this is running, let's run HTTPX on our another file cat tesla final.txt HTTPX hyphen silent and store them into our file tesla test.txt so we have one single file for all these domain already filtered the domains we use for collecting urls so once this is finished i will show you how to collect urls of these domains with various tools like katana wayback urls and gov you can use one more tool called waymore for collecting URLs. Gao is the best to collect URLs because uh, uh, it will collect URLs from Alien Vault, see uh, URL scans, and Wayback machines as well. This will take some time to complete the result. You can clearly see the results. All the subdomains are tested for live and uh, our HTTPX is testing whether the subdomain is running on HTTPS or HTTP.
meanwhile i will show you how if you have uh, multiple targets then how to create a file so if we have multiple targets and you want to scan with a single result then create a file like win test dot txt use i for insert and then specify the your targets you can specify multiple targets i'm giving here tesla google.com and facebook.com if you have multiple targets to test then you can create a, a file and uh, use our various scripts using one liner to save the result press escape and hyphen wq so here our file task current we have specified three domains so let's run our subdomain finder on this file task current.txt using one liner i'm giving her asset finder and store the result into a file. So asset finder will collect subdomains for all these three given domains. So it will automate your task and save your time as well. Our first HTTPX result is completed. The second one is running on Tesla final.txt. Here, you can see the result is completed. Let's clear my terminal. And use the file tesla test.txt you can see the all the results so let's give this file to our url collector scripts at tesla.txt use katana first i'm giving here katana hyphen d d is for depth i'm collecting domains i'm collecting urls for depth and store them into a new file tesla urls txt katana is running on the given subdomains here you can see various urls various links you can file you can find various files with par parameters with various extensions while this is running i'm using a, another tool on this file let's call our file tesla test use wayback url and store the result into our created file tesla links so here I am using Wayback URL for collecting URLs for our uh, specified subdomain file and store the result into Tesla URLs. After completing this process, we will collect vulnerable parameters for further analyzing. Let's check if our result is completed. So Katana is still running and finding various urls you can use httpx on this collected urls as well so the 404 urls will filter out and only live active urls will present
our Wayback URL is also running. And if you want to collect URL with Gao, use you can use the same command. Just change the script name. Let's stop the process here and I will show you how to find parameters. So for just suppose we want to uh, find open a direction. So try to find the redact parameter on the collected file. So use Tesla URLs and filter out with grab redirect so it will find the redact parameters or the given urls now you can test these links to further for find open direction if you want to find access vulnerabilities some of the parameters to grab is i'm showing you the parameters like page there is no page parameter present in these url so use language let's see if we have any result no we don't have any language parameter as well let's find keyword no we don't have any keyword as well let's find year let's find q let's find s no we don't have any let's find search no the other uh, parameters for testing accesses is query email type so we have a parameter called type in our given list so we can uh, test this url for accesses just use your accesses payload to test this so you can use various parameters to test, to grab or to collect the vulnerable links and use further manually test for the vulnerabilities. I will, uh, I will give these vulnerable parameters in the video description. You can check there as well. So that's all for today. Hope you learned something interesting today. And uh, so to cover some more interesting topics, stay connected and uh, tell me in the comments on which topic you want my next video. So take care.